Have you ever wondered how, in just six days, a single fertilized cell becomes the foundation of human life? A single cell, traveling through the fallopian tube, carrying the potential of human life, this is the story of the blastocyst. After fertilization, the zygote divides, first into a marula and by day five into a blastocyst. The blastocyst is a hollow sphere containing an inner cell mass, a fluid cavity called the blastocole, and an outer layer called the trophoblast. The inner cell mass will become the embryo. The trophoblast will form the placenta and supporting tissues. The entire structure is surrounded by a shell called the zona pellucida, which must hatch before implantation can begin. Around day five or six, the blastocyst reaches the uterus. At the same time, the uterine lining, the endometrium, becomes receptive under the influence of estrogen and progesterone. This short period is known as the implantation window. Implantation happens in three stages, apposition, adhesion, and invasion. First, the blastocyst loosely touches the uterine wall, apposition. Then, specific molecules, like L-selectin and integrins, create a firm bond, adhesion. Finally, trophoblast cells invade the uterine tissue, forming the syncytion trophoblast, which connects to the mother's blood supply. This entire process depends on precise molecular signals, cytokines, leukemia inhibitory factor, LIF, and growth factors. If timing or communication fails, implantation will not occur, even if fertilization was successful. In medicine, failed implantation is one of the main causes of early pregnancy loss or infertility. That's why in IVF, doctors often transfer embryos at the blastocyst stage, when they're most ready to implant. In summary, implantation is a delicate, time-sensitive conversation between embryo and uterus, a biological masterpiece happening silently within six days. If you found this fascinating, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. Would you like the next episode to explore molecular signaling or IVF technology?